I'm Ms. Lynch and I'm going to help you today with your bound book for your Becoming a World Geographer unit. What you need for supplies, that's what we're going to look at first, is uh, you need three pieces of large paper. I'm using 11 by 17 paper. You may want to use, uh, I'm using cardstock, you may want to use construction paper, you could possibly use a file folder. You also need a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a ruler. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I do want to note that I have th uh, two different colors pieces of paper, but that's just so that you can see my folds. You will be using one color probably. What I'm going to begin is I'm going to begin with a very, very basic fold, and I'm going hamburger style. Some of you may be very familiar with this from other classes. And I just want to make my crease very, very strong. Okay, so I've got one done, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to my other two pieces of paper. Okay, and my third piece of paper. This will be a good time for the teacher to pause if uh, students need additional time to work on this. Okay, we've got our three pieces of paper folded hamburger style, and what we're going to do next is we're going to mark them to get ready to cut them. So I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to take one piece of paper, and I'm going to measure two inches in from the edge, and I'm just going to put a little mark right there, and I'm going to do it on both sides. I am then going to go ahead and take that one piece of paper I marked and I'm going to line it up with my other two pieces of paper because I want my marks to be in the same spot on all three pieces of paper. So you can see how I'm just kind of stacking them so I can go ahead and make my little slash marks on each piece of paper. Okay, your teacher can pause the video now if you need some time to go ahead and do that. Okay, we've got our three pieces of paper marked. I'm going to take my two yellow pieces of paper. Um, remember again, you've got one color, but I need to do mine a little bit differently so you can see my folds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one piece of paper and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to start from the edge and just go to where my slash mark is. On both sides. So you can see, I've just cut in a little tiny bit, okay, and I'm going to do that on the two pieces of paper. And now I'm going to take those two pieces of paper, and I'm going to put them to the side, and I'm taking my third piece of paper, and here are my two little slash marks right there, and I'm going to do something called a cut in, and I'm just going to shave. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm starting at my little mark and I'm cutting in. So you can see I've got this very thin sliver of paper. And I'm going to do that to the other slash mark. Again, keeping it thin. Okay. And if I open it up, you can see there's a hole right there. Maybe if I put it like this, you can see the hole. And it should just be a very, very thin. Mine's actually a little wide in some spots. Again, your teacher can pause the video right now if you need some additional time to cut. Okay, we've got our three pieces of paper. Okay, two have the sli uh, slits from the end to the point and the other one's shaved in the middle. You can see the hole in the middle. We're going to put that one to the side. Okay, we're going to take the two that have the slits just from the ends to the point and we're going to put them inside of each other. So, two pieces of paper. And what I'm going to do is something called a burrito fold. I'm going to put it over like this and see how it's very long and skinny and you can see it's got a hole in the middle. I am not going to crease it. Do not crease this piece of paper. I'm going to pick up my piece of paper with a hole in the middle and I'm just going to slide this in. And you can see it looks like this. Okay, and I'm going to continue to slide till I hit the midpoint. At the midpoint, I'm going to kind of try and get them to work together. And if I do it successfully, you can see how I've got this together. I close it and fold it over, and you've got your bound book with no um, tape or staples. 
However, what I would suggest is if you are using construction paper, you might want to put some packing tape on the side right here to reinforce this because this might tear a little bit easier. Please be cautious when you're putting this together if you're using construction paper because it tears fairly easily. We're going to go ahead and give your teacher the opportunity to pause. Okay, hey, this was the one that we just completed, but I want to show you a completed copy. This is um, what your finished product is probably going to look like, however it might vary a little bit. Your teacher might change it a little bit. Um, it's uh, Ms. Winch is becoming a world geographer, and this activity will help you get ready for ninth grade world history and geography. So let's look at what's included in here. You have the map of the world on the front, and then the first page is about the oceans. The second page is about geographic features such as mountains and deserts and peninsulas. The third page is called Borders and Boundaries, and this is probably when we'll get together again to do the next fold, which is an envelope fold. And you can see that if you open this up, this is the continent of North America. The next page is called um, a flip book, but we just put it flat down, and you can see if we flip, it's got all these maps of the world. And if you look at this top one, this is a map where the shading has been completed for the region of North America. The last page is um, about waterways, so we've got rivers and straits and seas.